Big Flynn Studios in sunny Southern California. It's Big Flynn's Pigskin Picks with your host, Lorenzo Big Flynn Fleming. Good afternoon, Good afternoon, folks. This is week eight of the college football season, especially for Big Flynn's Pigskin Picks here on Big Flynn Radio and TV. Well, another Saturday is upon us, and of course, we're starting to get to the heart of the college football season, where the games and the matchups are very intense, and also will lead towards the rankings for the college football playoffs in the next couple of weeks. So. Like I said, these key games coming up are very important and for the next couple of weeks. So we're going to get things started. We're going to start locally here. I'm going to go with my home state, Georgia teams. First, we got Coastal Carolina visiting the Georgia Southern University Eagles in Statesboro, Georgia. For the locals, they call it the borough. Well, like I said, Georgia Southern is 2-3. and three. And Carolina is three and three, so I'm gonna stick with the home team and go with Georgia Southern on this one. And then, of course, the main Georgia matchup is Kentucky the SEC matchup, where we got University of Kentucky, the Wildcats, at three and three, visiting Sanford Stadium to visit the tenth-ranked Georgia Bulldogs, who suffered a heartbreaking loss last Saturday with South Carolina in two overtimes. I saw most of that game, and believe me, I was hurt too. But like I said, Georgia still has an opportunity to get back into the playoff mix. They have to run the table. They got to beat everybody in the SEC, get win to the SEC East Division, and get to the SEC title game and beat whoever the, represents the West, either Alabama, Auburn, LSU, who knows. Georgia has to win the SEC in order to even be in the conversation about getting to making the college football playoffs. So I'm keeping my hand, my fingers crossed on that to happen. But as of as far as today is concerned, Georgia's going to rebound from last week's performance. And I'm giving Georgia the win over Kentucky. Now we're going to continue on. Our um, next lineup, we go on to the Big Ten with 14 schools, of course. We got the number four, the Ohio State, the Buckeyes, a.k.a. the Buckaroos. Go on to Evanston, Indiana to play the North Western Tigers. No, is it Tigers? Or... I forgot what their mascot is. It's a, it's a cat. But anyway, Ohio State visiting Northwestern. And so far, Ohio State you know, is doing pretty good in the Big Ten with Justin Fields, a former Georgia transfer. Finally got his start, got his wish you know, to be a starter there. And, he, and he's doing well. He's making the best of his opportunity. So definitely will be a blowout game for Ohio State over Northwestern. And next we go to the WAC or Mountain West where we have UNLV going to Fresno to play Fresno State, the Bulldogs, and UN, UNLV, the running Rebels. So I'm going with Fresno State on this one. Now, our next matchup, we're going to the ACC, where we got the North Carolina State Wolfpack at 4-2, traveling to Chestnut Hill, the suburb of Boston, Massachusetts, up in Boston, to play the Boston College Eagles at 3-3. Three and three. Uh, Like I said, Matt Ryan is an alum of Boston College, as well as the legendary Doug Flutie, who threw that Hail Mary pass in his Miami in 1980. Or, like I said, just look it up on Google and you'll find it. I'll go with Boston College on this one. Our next matchup, featuring the other Georgia team, one I'm not too fond of, but it'll be worth mentioning anyway, the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets, a.k.a. the Broken Down Rex, or the Bumblebees. They travel down to Miami, Coral Gables, to play the U, the University of Miami, the Hurricanes, a.k.a. the Thunderstorm. So, Georgia Tech is 1-5 with their first-year coach, and so far they're not doing pretty well this year. That's a good thing. But anyway, and of course Miami is 3-3 three and three in the ACC. So, we're going with the Miami Hurricanes over the dreaded Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets, a.k.a. the Bumblebees or the Broken Down Rex. All right, folks, we're going to take a quick break. And we'll be right back with Big Flim's Pigskin Picks College Football Edition here on Big Flim Radio and TV. Hey. 
Hey folks, this is Lorenzo Big Flim Fleming, the host and creator of Big Flim Radio and TV website. As you know, I am a host of six podcasts on Big Flim Radio and TV designed for the general listening audience. Like I said, whenever you get a chance, check it out. Check out the website. Check out the online store for Big Flim Radio and TV themed products and little knickknacks and gifts for your friends and your family members. Like I said, you'll find it very interesting. I guarantee it. Like I said, the podcast covers news, music, talk. I wouldn't say news, but mainly talk about today's news and topics, as well as a channel dedicated to my fellow American military veterans, because I am a veteran myself. 21 years qualifying service in the Army and the Army Reserves, which includes two combat tours in Iraq and six months contingency operation tour in Kuwait. So I dedicate that show to all my fellow veterans and family members of veterans. So if you give a chance, hey, give me a chance. Give a listen. Check out the website at www.bigflimradiotv, that's one word, dot com. Again, that's www.bigflimradiotv.com. Dot com. I'll spell it out for you. It's B I G F L E M as in Mike R A D I O T V. And you can send me a tweet on Twitter with the hashtag Flim F L E M underscore radio. So like I say, give me a shot, give it a listen. And also, if you want to send a request for a song or want to make a comment or criticisms about any of the podcast shows on Big Flynn Radio and TV, go ahead. No, I'd like to hear from you. Send me a shout out. Or if you want me to do a shout out for somebody or you want to do a dedication on a certain show, just send it to the email black on um, big flim radio tv at gmail.com. Again, that's big flim radio and tv at gmail.com and put whatever particular podcast show in the subject line. For example, one of the shows you're listening to right now is Big Flim's Pigskin Picks NFL Edition as well as College Football Edition. Also, you can send no, the subject line. You can use my prerogative with Lorenzo Fleming. Reflections. Rocking into the night as well as Lorenzo's Jams. Again, give it a no, give it a try. Check it out. Listen to it. Tell all your friends and your neighbors and your family members, and even strangers. You'll never, you won't regret it. It's Big Flim Radio and TV. Hi, you've reached Heineken USA. We're not in right now, but if you have a story you'd like to share with us, tell us. All right, beep's coming up. I stopped at a buddy's house this weekend, and when I walked in, he was vacuuming the floor with an old canister vac. He's got the hose in one hand and a hiney in the other. When he turned to look at me, he hit the end of the retractable power cord, pulling it out of the electrical socket. The cord whipped around in the air like a snake. The plug hit him right between the eyes just as he had turned to look at me. He never saw it coming. It knocked him right on his butt. He didn't have the vacuum in hand, but he was still holding his Heineken. Never spilled a drop. My kind of man. Arr, arr. Well, at least he has his priorities in order. If you want to share a story you've heard over a Heineken, call 1-800-44-RED-STAR. The machine is always on. Talk to you later. Heineken USA, White Plains, New York. Aren't you cute with your little lemonade stand? Would you like to buy some lemonade, Mr. King? No, thank you, sweetie. It comes with free checking. <laughs> You're like eight years old. You, you say free checking? <laughs> eight and a half. Do you have bankers in that little stand with you? What? No, but sign up and I'll get my daddy to stop stealing your newspaper. Okay. Uh, do you print out little account statements? I'm not allowed on the computer since I got sued for downloading music. All right, I'll take a lemonade. 
regular, tall, or venti. It seems like you can get free checking anywhere, even at a lemonade stand. So what makes that so special? That's why Wells Fargo gives you more than free checking. Because not only does Wells Fargo have free checking with direct deposit, you also get knowledgeable bankers who can help you with buying a car, a house, or simply saving for the future. Whatever your financial goals, don't settle. Expect more from your checking. Talk to a knowledgeable Wells Fargo banker today. Wells Fargo, the next stage. Wells Fargo Bank and a member FDIC. Welcome back, folks, to Big Flam's Pigskin Picks College Football Edition here on Big Flam Radio and TV. And, of course, I'm your host, Lorenzo Big Flam Fleming, host, creator, producer extraordinaire. Now, let's get back to our picks here. Now, we're heading back to the Big 12 where we got the 3-2 and two TCU Horn Frogs traveling to Manhattan, Kansas to take on the Kansas State Wildcats, who are also 3-2. and two. Well, like I said, I've always liked Kansas State. So I'm picking Kansas State over TCU on this one. Now we're going to the Pac-12, a.k.a. the Puke 12, where we got the 2-4 and four Oregon State traveling from Corvallis to Berkeley to take on the 4-2 and two Cal Bears. Well, like I said, Cal Bears are doing pretty good in the, big, in the Big 12. So I'm going with California over Oregon State in this one. Now we're heading back to the Big Ten, where we got the four and two Indiana Hoosiers traveling to College Park, Maryland, to take on the Maryland, the Maryland Terrapins, who are three and three. Like I say, Indiana's doing pretty good so far this year in the Big Ten, so I'm sticking with them to beat Maryland. Then continue. Now we're back into the ACC, where we got the four and two Duke Blue Devils facing the four and two Virginia Cavaliers in Charlottesville. Like I said. Um, in football, I'll stick with Duke. Like I said, I've never been much of a fan of Duke, the Blue Devils, as far as college basketball is concerned. I like Mike Krzyzewski as a coach. But getting back to the football subject here, I'm going with Duke over Virginia in this ACC matchup. Now we're heading back to the Big Ten where we got the number 20 Minnesota Golden Gophers, or 6-0, and they're doing pretty good. they traveling to... Brunswick, New Jersey, to take on the Rutgers Scarlet Knights at one and five, and they're doing terrible. They're doing poorly this year. So I'm going with the Golden Gophers to notch win number seven. Heading back to the ACC, we got North Carolina, the Tar Heels at three and three, as they travel to Blacksburg, Virginia, to take on the Virginia Tech you know, the Hokies at four and two. Uh, it's going to be a close game, but I'm taking. The Hokies on this one, Virginia Tech over North Carolina. All right. Now we're heading back to the Pac-12, a.k.a. the Puke 12, where we got the number 12 Oregon Ducks at 5-1, and one, traveling to Seattle, to Husky Stadium to take on the number 25 Washington Huskies, who are 5-2. and two. Like I said, Jacob Eason is doing pretty good after he transferred from Georgia and stuff, so... I'm going, and I've been a longtime fan of the Huskies football program, so I'm sticking with the Huskies over the Ducks on this one. Now heading back to the best conference in college football, the SEC, we got the number two LSU at 6-0, traveling to Starksville, Mississippi, to take on the Mississippi State Bulldogs or the Bullpups. So there's only one true Bulldog, and that's the Georgia Bulldog, that is, at 3-3. Three and three. So like I said, um, this is a key SEC West matchup, and like I said, it'll go a long way. Especially when they when LSU meets up with Alabama, so I'm going with LSU over Mississippi State in this one. Now, moving right along, we're going to back to the Big 12, where we got the number 18 Baylor Bears are six and zero, traveling to Stillwater, Oklahoma, to take on the Cowboys of Oklahoma State at four and two. Like I said, Baylor is doing great this year, so, but I'm st- I'll stick with them guys. I'll stick with them. Baylor, a close one over Oklahoma State. Then we got South Florida at 3 3, traveling to Annapolis to take on Navy, who was 4 1. Like I say, you know, I have family members who serve in the Navy, stuff like that. So I'll go with Navy over South Florida Bulls in that matchup. All right, folks, our next matchup is back in the SEC where we have the 
number 22 Missouri Mizzou Tigers at 4 and 1 I mean by 5 and 1 excuse me traveling to Nashville country capital of the world take on the one in the woeful 1 and 5 Vanderbilt Commodores man they are really sucking this year and especially Derek Mason I know he's on the hot seat there as coach of the Commodores so I don't think it's not going to get any better for them, so I'm going with Missouri Missou over Actually, Vanderbilt in this one. Missouri. Now heading back to the Puke 12, or a.k.a. the Pac-12, we have the number 17 Arizona State, the Sun Devils at 5-1, and one, traveling to Ogden, Utah to take on the number 13th Utah Utes at 5-1. and one. Both teams are doing pretty good in the Pac-12, but I'll go with the Utes over Arizona State in this one. Then we head down to the Mountain West or the WAC where we have San Diego State at 5-1 traveling up to San Jose up to Silicon Valley to take on San Jose State at 3-3. Three and three and three. Well, so far the Aztecs are doing pretty good there so far this year, so I'm sticking with San Diego State over San Jose State. Alright, folks. Moving right along, we head back to the Puke 12, aka the Pac-12, where we got Three and three Colorado Buffaloes traveling to Pullman, Washington, the Palouse, to take on them. Three and three Washington State Cougars. They've been up and down this so far this season, and Mike Leach, you know, is feeling a little bit of heat up there in Pullman. So I know they got to get it together. So I'm going with the Cougars of Washington State over Colorado. Then we heading back to the Big Twelve, where we got the two and four Kansas Jayhawks. Traveling to Austin, Texas to take on the number 15, Texas, the Longhorns, after rough loss to Oklahoma last week in the Red River shootout. So I'm expecting Texas to rebound from that. To, they'll take the win over Kansas in this game here. All right, folks, and then now talking about my other, um, well, our next matchup, we have the Tulane Green Wave. They're doing pretty good this year at 5-1. and one. They travel to Memphis to take on the Memphis Tigers, who are also 5-1. and one. So I'm going to go with Tulane on this one since they're, been, since they're hot this year. So I go with Tulane, a close one over Memphis. All right, folks, we're going to take another break, and we'll be right back with Big Flim's Pigskin Picks College Football Edition here on Big Flim's Radio and TV. Flim Radio wants you to know that approximately every 51 minutes, someone is killed in a drunk driving crash. Buzz driving can also cause huge financial penalties with fines and legal fees. Friends, don't let friends drive drunk. Find out more at NHTSA.org. Gnarly, dude. This is Jess Bacoli. When I'm out hanging tin, catching the waves, checking out the chicks, and skipping Mr. Hands class... I'm listening to Big Flim Radio and TV. <laughs> Hi. I'm here today because I'm addicted. <laughs> Big Flim Radio and TV. Get ready. You know, you know, you know. Now that's an addiction, man. Welcome back, folks, to week seven of the college football season here on Big Flim's Pigskin Picks, college football edition here on Big Flim Radio and TV. Well, we're going to continue on with our picks. Like I said, with this one, we're just going to make picks. We're not keeping tabs of wins and losses like my um, NFL counterpart podcast. Also, we have Big Flim's Pigskin Picks NFL edition. That will be, you'll hear that probably today or tomorrow. Please make sure you check that out, as well as five other podcast channels under Big Flim Radio and TV. Like I said, just check it out. You know, at www.bigflimradiotv. That's one word. dot com. Again, that's www.bigflimradiotv.com. If you want to send us a tweet, you know, if you want to be a guest picker or guest pronosticator, or if you want to, you know, give your criticisms or critiques, shoot us a tweet on Twitter at Flim underscore radio again. That's at Flim F L E M as in Mike underscore radio R A D I O. 
or if you want to send us an email with your picks or if you want to be a guest picker guest pronosticator you know shoot us an email at bigflimradiotv at gmail.com again that's bigflimradiotv at gmail.com and put in the subject line Big Flim's Pigskin Picks College Football Edition or Big Flim's Pigskin Picks NFL Edition if you want to pick, be a guest picker, prognosticator for the NFL picks. Now, moving right along here, our next matchup is from the Big 12 where we got the West Virginia Mountaineers. Like I said, they didn't do too well last weekend up in Morgantown, so they travel to Norman, Oklahoma to take on the number five Oklahoma Sooners with Jalen Hurts, the former Alabama quarterback. Like I said, Jalen Hurts is doing pretty good since he transferred from Alabama after Tua Tagliavia took his job. So I'm going with Oklahoma over West Virginia on this one. All right, folks, the next matchup we have is in the Big Ten where we got the number six Wisconsin Badgers at 6-0, and traveling to Champaign to take on the Fighting Illini of Illinois, who are 2-4. and four. Like I say, the, the Fighting Illini has been struggling so far this season. And like I said, of course, Wisconsin is doing pretty good. So I'm going with Wisconsin over, over the Fighting Illini on this one. Staying with the Big Ten, we have the 2-4 and four Purdue Boilermakers heading to Iowa City to take on the number 23 Iowa Hawkeyes, or 4-2. and two. Like I said, Iowa, they rebounded from losing to Michigan a couple weeks ago. So I'm going with Iowa, the Hawkeyes, to beat Purdue in this one. All right, then now we're going to the SEC, the best conference in college football, hands down, in my opinion. We got the number eight, eight? yeah, number nine, Florida Gators at six and one. Traveling to Columbia, South Carolina at William Bryce Stadium to take on the 3-3 three and three South Carolina Gamecocks, a.k.a. the Game Chickens, the team that broke our hearts last week at Stanford Stadium. Will they, get it, will they make it two in a row over an SEC team? We'll find, oh, out. find out. But on this one, I'm going with the Florida Gators over the South Carolina Gamecocks, a.k.a. the Game Chickens. Now, staying in the SEC, we have the number 11 Auburn Tigers, a.k.a. the Kitty Cats, at 5-1, and one, traveling to Fayetteville, Arkansas, to take on the 2-4 and four Arkansas Razorbacks. I guess old Suey hasn't been suing it on too well this year, so I'm definitely going with Auburn on this one over Arkansas. Now we're going back to the Big 12 Conference where we got Iowa State at 4-2, and two, traveling to Lubbock, Texas, to take on the Red Raiders of Texas Tech, who are 3-3. Three uh, so far, Iowa State is doing pretty good, the Cyclones. But I'll give it to, of course, I'll give it to Iowa State on this one over the Red Raiders. Now, we're heading to back to the ACC where we got the number three ranked Clemson, or 6-0, and traveling to Louisville to play the Cardinals, who are 4-2. and Like I say, of course, right now is. It kind of sucks that Clemson is winning and they're the defending national champions, but they're being pushed down on the on the rank on the AP rankings. They were number one to start the season off, and like I said last week, they dropped to number two. And then after they beat up Florida State last week, now they dropped to number three, which I don't understand. The folks at the AP, why they doing what they doing at Clemson? I hope they don't drop them down to number four after they beat Louisville today. I'm hoping they stay put for right now. So I'm definitely going for Clemson to beat up Louisville today in Louisville at Papa John Stadium there. All right, folks, we're going to take another quick break, and we'll be right back with Big Flim's Pigskin Picks College Edition here on Big Flim Radio and TV. Let's take a cruise. Maybe next year. You said next year, last year. Well, that was last year. But NCL has free airfare. Free? Free round trip airfare to a one week cruise with NCL. 
Norwegian Caribbean Lines will fly you free round trip to a one-week cruise to Mexico, the Caribbean, the Bahamas. Just call your travel agent for reservations and information. Then let yourself go to a special world where you see new sights, enjoy new pleasures, taste a delicious new freedom. With NCL, meals, entertainment, parties, and more are all included in one low price. And with free airfare, you could save hundreds of dollars. There's never been a better time to enjoy the vacation value of a lifetime. So, let yourself go. Let yourself go. NCL. With free airfare. Let yourself go. Ships Registry, Norway. NCL. What do you think of Cinnaburst gum? Those flavor crystals have oomph. I hate oomph. I love the way it crunches. As an interior decorator, I find the dots too flashy. It's great, but maybe you should give me some extra packs to make sure. Well, when I was a boy, we used to... Uh, what was the question again? Yes! Cinnaburst gum with flavor crystals. May not be suitable for adults. Hey folks, welcome back to Big Flim's Pigskin Picks College Football Edition here on Big Flim Radio and TV. Well, we're going to continue on with our last set of picks here. So, our next pick is we're Army, the West Point United States Military Academy at 3-3. Three and three. They travel to Atlanta to take on the 4-2 and two Georgia State Panthers, another home state team. Well, I hate to go against my home state teams, but in this one, I got to pick Army because I'm an Army vet. And I served two combat tours in Iraq. I did six months in Kuwait. I got 21 years of qualifying service, active Army and Army Reserve. So my loyalties go towards Army in this one over Georgia State. All right. Our next pick is back in the ACC where we got Florida State at 3-3. Three and three traveling to Winston-Salem, North Carolina to take on the 5 and one Wake Forest Demon Deacons. Like I said, Florida State, like I said, they got throttled by Clemson last week up at Death Valley. I don't know if they're going to recover from that, but I'm going with Wake Forest over Florida State in this one. Now we're heading back to the Big Ten with 14 schools where we got the number 16 Michigan Wolverines, the maize and blue, traveling to Happy Valley to Beaver Stadium to take on the number seven Penn State at 6 0. Like I say, they're going to continue to be rocking and rolling in Happy Valley. So I'm picking Penn State to be a close one over Michigan State there. Now we're heading back to the best conference in college football, the SEC, where we got Texas AM, the Aggies, after they got throttled by Alabama last week for the game of the week on CBS. They're 3 3 as they travel to Oxford to take on the 3 4 Ole Miss Rebels. I'm looking forward for Texas A&M to make a rebound from that beatdown they got from Alabama and Tuscaloosa. So I'm picking Texas A&M, the Aggies, over Mississippi in this one. All right, folks, staying with the SEC. Speaking of Alabama, who are currently 6-0 and and they're currently number one, they get the host, the Tennessee Volunteers, a.k.a. the Voluntold. Now they're two and four, and like I said, they're still dealing with the fallout from Banks, their player that got kicked off the team for, you know, got arrested you know, two weeks ago. You know, some legal issues, so they're still dealing with that. Jeremy Pruitt you know, is having to have his hands full. So I don't think Tennessee can hold up to Tua and all those receivers and their running back they got there in Alabama. So I think Alabama is going to put a beating on Tennessee there in Tuscaloosa. Now we head back to the Puke 12, a.k.a. the Pac-12, where we got 4-2 and two Arizona Wildcats heading to the Coliseum in L.A. to take on the USC Trojans, they, the condom wearers, so at 3-3. Three and three. Right now, you know, you know, Helton, right now, he's trying to fight for his job because right now they, they say, like, he's on the hot seat there at USC. So... I go with Arizona over USC in this matchup. It's going to be a close game, though. Then the next matchup we have the four and two Nevada Reno the Wild the Wolf Pack traveling to Utah State. And we're also three uh, three and two. 
I go with Nevada over Utah State in this one. Then we head to the WAC or Mountain West where we got the number 14 Boise State at 6 0. They got that nice blue field there at their stadium. They travel into, they travel into Provo to take on the BYU Cougars over 2 and 4. Look like BYU is struggling this year and stuff because they used to be a dominant powerhouse years ago and stuff like that. But I think you, the Boise State's going to handle them handily there. Well, I'll say Boise State will easily beat BYU in this matchup. So I'm going with Boise State over BYU. And last but not least, we have our other yeah, military academy where we have the Air Force, the Eagles, aka the Zoomies, at four and two, traveling to Honolulu, Hawaii, to take on the Rainbow Warriors of Hawaii at four and two. Like I say, um, I'm going with Hawaii and a close one over Air Force. All right, folks. Those are our picks for the Big Flim's Pigskin Picks College Football Edition here on Big Flim Radio and TV. Like I said, tune in next week for another podcast episode of Big Flim's Pigskin Picks College Football Edition. Also, please check out our NFL counterpart, Big Flim's Pigskin Picks NFL Edition. Check that out this weekend. Like I said, we'll have the picks for week seven of the NFL season also on Big Flim Radio and TV. And also check out our other podcast channels, our Cal podcast shows, excuse me, that deals with music, talk, and also veterans issues. Like I say, you know, give us a try. Check it out. Tell your friends. Tell your neighbors. You know, tell your coworkers. Tell your strangers. Tell your lover. So on and so forth. Tell an alien from Mars if there's any that land in Area 51 or land in your neighborhood. Check it out at www.bigflimradiotv.com. Again, that's www.bigflimradiotv.com. Also, again, if you want to be a guest picker, if you want to you know, leave a comment, you want to critique on our shows and podcast episodes, you know, feel free to you know, email us at bigflimradiotv at gmail.com. Again, that's bigflimradiotv at gmail.com. And also, you can send us a tweet on Twitter. Just go with the hashtag at Flim underscore radio. Again, that's F-L-E-M as in Mike underscore R-A-D-I-O. Flim underscore radio. Okay, until then, see you next time on Big Flim's Pick Skin Picks College Edition here on Big Flim Radio and TV. Produce, written, and hosted by yours truly, Lorenzo Big Flynn Fleming. It's a production of Black Rebel Productions in accordance with Flynn Media. The college football theme music belongs to CBS Sports as well as the NCAA and Big Flynn Radio TV do not own the rights to the music clip, nor do they profit from it. Big Flim Radio and TV.